Hi there. Welcome to this series of videos on programming logic. We would start with simple programs like even numbers, odd numbers, how to find if a number is prime, find factorial of a number, and then move on to complex data structures and also algorithms. One very important thing to remember throughout this series of videos is all these videos are language neutral. Even though all the examples which we are seeing are from C, it equally applies to languages like C++, Java and C Sharp. If there is a difference in how things work in a different language, then that would be discussed separately. But the concepts which we discuss and the logic which we use to run the programs would be the same in all the languages. So whether you're using C, C++ or Java, these videos would be very useful to you. In this video, let's look at what happens when we declare a variable, how it is stored in memory, and also we look at assignment operator. These two concepts are very important if you want to get a good hold of programming logic. So uh, let's start with variable declaration. The way we declare variable is very simple, right? You would have looked at programs where this is done. Int i, this basically declares a variable. What is a variable? A variable is something which has three things. Uh, a is a type, it has a name, and it has a value. So the type of the variable which we are creating here is int. The type of the variable which, uh, the name of the variable is i. And the value of it, uh, right now it doesn't have any value. Uh, if I say i is equal to 25. Now I'm assigning a value to it. At the end of statement 1 where I've just declared uh, int i, the value of the i would be garbage. Uh, what happens when I say int i is in computer memory, like in the memory of uh, the computer, in the main memory most probably, what happens is a box-like thing is created. So you can treat memory as like a box. So when we start off, when we create the int i, this would have some garbage. So what basically happens is in this, the content of this probably might be something like one lakh or something. Some garbage value would be present at the start. And at the end of this statement, if you look at this, this statement is i is equal to 25. So when we come to this statement, what happens is the value of i gets overridden. So this 1000 is replaced by value 25. So this is what happens when I say i is equal to 25. What happens is the value on the right hand side, which is 25, it gets stored into the variable on the left hand side, which is i. So whatever value, whatever garbage value i had earlier would be replaced by the value which we are assigning to i, which is 25. Uh, similarly, let's say I have a variable, another variable created j. So now even j would have its separate box created. So now what happens in memory is actually a separate box is created for j. So j would have something of the same kind, a box where we can store the values of j. So what happens is the value of j would be stored in this particular box. So what happens now is another box like this is created and inside this the value of j is stored. So let's say the value of initial garbage value of j is 6, 7, 8, 9, some random value which is present in memory. Uh, so now what I'm doing is I'll assign something like j is equal to 100. So what happens now when code execution comes to this line j is equal to 100 is simple. I think you'd be easily able to get it. In this box, a value of 100 is stored. So let's now look at what would happen if I say i is equal to j. This is something which usually confuses people, the assignment operator. The assignment operator is, is equal to and people generally confuse it, like new programmers generally confuse it with uh, the is equal to in mathematics. So when I actually say i is equal to j, 
what does that mean that does that mean the values of i and j are equal actually it's a little different what this is is an assignment operator uh, what the assignment operator does is it takes the va value in the variable on the right hand side so this is the variable on the right hand side right so this is j j is the variable on the right hand side so the value of j whatever value is present in j so if you look at the value in j at this point it's 100 right the box j contains a value 100 so what happens is the value in j is going to be put into the value in i so since this is i i mean this is basically the box which we assumed to be i so this is i and this we know is the box j so what happens is at this point when this line is executed when i is equal to j is executed the value whatever value is stored in j the value which should be stored in j at this point is 100 so this value 100 is stored into the value i so what happens is the value of i 25 right now gets overridden by the value 100 so this is how the assignment operator works whatever value is present in the variable or the expression when we say expression i can say i is equal to j into 2 this, what this does is the expression is evaluated so j into 2 so value in j is 100 100 into 2 is 200 and the value would be stored into i which is 200 so now let's complicate it a little further so what happens if i say i comma j comma k and uh, I will not initialize k to any value and I would come over here let let okay. let's also put some value in there so k is equal to 50 so now I say k is equal to j is equal to i what happens what would happen when k is equal to j is equal to i what would be the value in k what would be the value in j and what would be the value in i what happens when I create a new variable j k is we get some memory allocated to it so another box is created in memory where the value of k is stored so what happens is i have another box where i can store the value of k so now uh, we when the code executes this line executes uh, i value would be becoming 25 so this would become 25 uh, when this line executes j becomes 100 when k is equal to 50 is executed the value in k would be 50 and when i is equal to j into 2 is executed j into 2 is 200 so 200 gets stored here and next k is equal to j is equal to high what happens here so when k, the way the assignment operator works is it starts from the right hand side and whatever value is inside that is assigned to the left hand side so uh, what happens is j is equal to i is the first thing which gets evaluated so what happens is the value in i is 200 so what happens here is the value from i is stored in j so this 200 gets stored in j so one important thing about the assignment operator is the assignment operator returns the value which has been assigned so uh, the value which is assigned to j here is 200 so what happens is actually j is equal to i expression also carries the same value 200 if i said j is equal to i star 2 then this expression would have carried a value i into 2 that is 200 into 2 that is it would be 200 into 2 that is 400 so if i said j is equal to i star 2 it carries uh, value the value 400 is stored into j and also this expression which is present here j is equal to i star 2 carries a value which is same as the value in j so this value gets assigned into k so now what happens is if i exp ex execute the expression as it is here i into 2 uh, the value of i as it is right now is uh, 100 into 2 that is 200 which is already stored in here so what happens is i star 2 that is 200 into 2 which is 400 gets assigned and stored into j so the value of j becomes 400 and now the expression j is equal to i star 2 has a value 400 that value was also be stored into k so now the value of 
k becomes 400 so now let's uh, this all this might sound a little complicated let's use a feature in turbo c++ called watch to see what values are in present in each variable at each point the way you can add a variable is just click, double click on the watch window and say i and i'm adding j and k so now i can start uh, stepping through the code by using the key f7 so now i press f7 and now i can start stepping through if you see right now before this start of execution program all the watch window values are undefined so they don't have a value right now i'm going in and you see the values have some garbage value so as soon as they are declared i j and k get some garbage values so i has a value 646 j has a value 652 some garbage value is present so now if you see i am executing the line i is equal to 25 and the value of i now changes to 25 the value of j is going to be assigned to 100 so j is equal to 100 and k is equal to 50 so the value of k changes to 50 so now we are executing the expression i is equal to j into 2 which is the value in j is 100 100 into 2 is 200 so 200 gets stored into i so the way assignment gets executed is the value from the right hand side expression is stored into the variable on the left hand side so it gets stored into the variable on the left hand side and the value of i becomes 200 so now uh, if you look at this particular statement this is k is equal to j is equal to i star 2 what happens is i star 2 gets executed and then that value is stored into j and the value of j is stored into k so uh, if you look at the values at the end of this execution i star 2 is uh, i is 200 into 2 which is 400 and the 400 gets stored into j and that value would be stored into k as well so if you look at it uh, j and k would be changing to 400 so that's what you see in this video we got an understanding of what happens when a variable is declared and how it's stored in memory and also how the assignment operator works these forms the basics for understanding programming logic this video is a little slow uh, because i wanted to make sure that you get the assignment operator absolutely perfect because it's critical to get uh, to understand the assignment operator if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye